Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is, what sum invested for one whole one by two years, compounded half yearly, at the rate of four percent per annum, will amount to rupees one lakh thirty three thousand six hundred fifty one? So this is the question to solve this. So first, write all the information that have been given. So first, write the principal is equal to rupees. So no principal is given, so write principal is equal to rupees p. And we have to find out the value of this p. Rate of interest it is given four percent per annum. So four percent per annum, and it is given half yearly. Half yearly means four percent per annum will be divided by two. So four by two cut will become two percent. So this will be our rate of interest. Time is equal to our given one whole one by two years. So this year, if we convert in terms of six months, so therefore it will become three half years. And amount is our also given in rupees. This one that is one lakh thirty two thousand six hundred fifty one. So now with this information, you have to find out the value of this p. So write the formula that is p into one plus rate by hundred to the power n will be equal to the amount. So this is the formula. With this, you have to find out the principal. So put down the values. The principal is p only plus one plus rate is two. By hundred to the power n means to the power three is equal to the amount that is one three two six five one. So now is equal to right that p into so one plus two by hundred it will become one hundred two by hundred we know it. So to the power three that means it will be written three times one hundred two by hundred into one hundred two by hundred is equal to this one that is one three two six five one. So now I take the this principal to this side. So therefore, it is a multiplication. It will go for division to that side. So it becomes one hundred two by hundred into one hundred two by hundred into one hundred two by hundred is equals to one three two six five one by p. So now I will do cube root in both the sides. Cube root in both the sides. So this side also cube root, and this side also full cube root. So this side cube root means this 102 by 100 will be taken only one time as there are three times. So it becomes 102 by 100. This will be equal to. So now this number we have to find out the cube root. We do this this side. That 132651. So first we cut by three. It will become. Four four two one seven. Now again by three, it will become one four seven three nine. Now again, it will become four nine one three. So now we, we can easily cut by seventeen. So seventeen two hundred eighty nine and seventeen seventy seven two hundred eighty nine. So therefore, cube root means this will be one pair and this will be one pair. So only three and seventeen will be taken. So three into seventeen, that is equal to fifty-one. So therefore, here also we write that fifty-one by. So now we cannot do anything with this p. So add down we do that cube p. So now we rotate this number. That means fifty-one by p goes to this side, and this will go to this side. So no sign change it. We write just change it. Is equals to one hundred two by hundred. So now we think that p to the power three. No, I sorry, u root p will be equal to. So we have all noticed that when the number is down, it goes for multiplication. So therefore, when the number comes from up, so that will go for division. So one hundred two by hundred. So division means so you all know that it will go reciprocal. Reciprocal means one by fifty one. So I cut fifty one and one hundred two. It will become two, and here also one fifty, one by fifty. So here it becomes. Uh, sorry guys, I made a mistake here. So fifty one as we are taking down, so it will be one by cube root p. I made a mistake. I'm sorry for that. So now it becomes that one by cube root p will be equal to one by fifty. 
so therefore if we will take, uh, take out the upward one so that means it will only become cube root p is equals to 50 so now p will be equals to now this cube root p will be go for here cube so 50 to the power cube sorry 50 to the power 3 so that means p is equals to 50 into 50 into 50 that will be equals to we write 3 0 now 5 25 25 5 is a 125 so therefore rupees 1 lakh 25 5 is our final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions